Let us pray. God, our faithful shepherd, you search for us when we are lost. You go before us. You come behind us. You are the ground of our being. You are the breath within us. There is no place we can travel where you are not already present. There is nothing we can discover about ourselves that you do not already know. When we feel compelled to push everything to its limits, especially you, O oh God, it is enough, Holy One, that your grace can slow us down. When we stand vulnerable and exposed to the buffeting winds of our doubts and questions, it is enough, healing servant, that you wrap us in your peace and put our minds at ease. When we are entangled in the dark wood, in those places of worry, anxiety, and fear, which consume our lives, it is enough, spirit of sheer silence, that you untie the knots and set us free. Thank you for your tender care for us and for the world. Thank you for soothing the wounds of this life. Knowing your faithfulness in our lives, we bring before you the lives of others who are on our hearts and the cares of this world, and trusting all things to your goodness and mercy. Bring healing to those who are ill in mind, body, or spirit. Bring release to those who are held captive by old hurts or new bonds that oppress and entangle. Bring freedom to those unjustly accused. Relief to those burdened with debt. Comfort to all who suffer from abuse of any kind. We pray for people living precariously in the midst of war or violence. Loving God, help us to see the world as you see it, to see others as you see them, and to see ourselves rightly too. Pursue us all with your goodness and faithful love until goodness and faithful love fill every heart and inform every action. We praise these things in the name of the one who came that we might see, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who taught us to pray the Lord's Prayer together. And so I invite Laura and Roger to lead us. Please join us in the Lord's Prayer using any words that are most meaningful to you. Our Creator who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for continuing to participate in UCUP's ministries with your prayers, your virtual presence, your gifts, and your service. Along with supporting UCUP financially, we also support our ministry partners and the two denominations two denominations we are affiliated with. For the past 70 years, Protestant churches have collected a special offering during Lent to alleviate suffering. It is called One Great Hour of Sharing. The offering you give to One Great Hour of Sharing will be divided equally between United Methodist Committee on Relief and United Church of Christ Disaster Ministries. Let's watch a brief video from the UCC about One Great Hour of 